Hey everyone, this is an example of finding a tangent slope uh, in section 2.1. <clears throat> it asks us to find the slope of the curve y equals x squared minus 2x minus 4 at the point p of 3 comma negative 1 by finding the limit of the secant slopes to the point p. So it's a lot of wording. Really what they're saying is if they're only giving you one point, they want you to find the tangent slope, which means we need to use uh, this function, which is limit as h approaches 0, f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So we're going to start using this function to find our, our uh, slope through this point 3, negative 1. So to start this out, I need to plug in x plus h into this function. So I'm going to start doing that by saying this equals x plus h squared minus 2 x plus h minus 4 minus f of x so minus f of x is just that function again x squared minus 2x plus or minus 4 and that's all over h so you notice I took x plus h I plugged it in for x squared I plugged it in for the x and then I also did the same thing by plugging x in, which doesn't change anything, and I wrote that out there. So then we're going to say that that's, uh, we're going to just keep writing this down limit as h approaches 0. And that's going to be, uh, we're going to factor that out a little bit. So that's going to say x plus h, x plus h, minus, I distribute here, 2x minus 2h minus 4 distribute the negative in here so it's going to be negative x squared plus 2x plus 4 that's all over h so then we're going to go limit as h approaches 0 distribute x times x is x squared uh, x times h is uh, xh plus x times h, xh. h times h is h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 4 minus x squared plus 2x plus 4. So this gets a little bit nasty for a second, but you'll notice that things are going to start canceling each other. So limit as h approaches 0 we'll have x squared plus 2xh plus h squared minus 2x minus 2h minus 4 minus x squared plus 2x plus 4 all over h and we're going to cancel some stuff out so this cancels with this uh, let's see here, negative 2x and 2x cancel, negative 4 and 4 cancel, and we're left with just 2x plus h squared minus 2h over h. So we're going to write that down as limit h to 0, going towards 0, we get 2xh plus h squared minus 2h over h which then that'll give us h by factor out h on top that's going to give 2x plus h minus 2 all over h the h's cancel and that leaves 2x plus h minus 2 which then that's going to give when h approaches 0 I'll get 2x uh, plus 0 minus 2 so now I just have 2x minus 2 and then when I use my point remember my points right up here 3 negative 1 so x value is 3 when I say when I plug in 3 here that'll be 2 times 3 minus 2 which we know to be so 2 times 3 minus 2 that's 6 minus 2 which is 4 so that's the slope of our uh, 
that's the slope of the tangent line that goes through this point here. So our slope is 4, and it goes through this point for this equation here. Now it's going to ask us in this part B here, so let's go ahead and uh, slide this up a little bit. And now it's going to ask us right here, it's going to say, for part B, let me just write here, we're going to write our slope on a different sheet of paper here. So. Our slope is 4. It says find an equation of the line of the tangent line to the curve at the point P3 negative 1. Well we know the slope is 4 we just found that so let's go ahead and use point slope form which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. If I know the slope and I know this 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 is the point for my that my tangent line is touching I can plug some stuff in here, so I'm going to say y minus negative 1 equals 4 x minus 3. And then I can go through and put this in slope intercept form, so that's y plus 1 equals 4 x minus 12. Subtract the 1 over and I get y equals 4 x minus 13. So this is the equation for the tangent line to the curve above. So that curve that I had, which was um, y equals x squared minus 2x minus 4, uh, this is the tangent line, the, the equation for the tangent line to that curve going through that point.